Cassini's final moments of glory. September 14, 2017, Cassini received the command to plunge into Saturn's atmosphere, ending nearly 20 years of exploration. This was a reluctant move, but also a long-planned strategy by NASA, because Cassini needed to conduct long-term exploration missions. Its structure was more special compared to other probes. Over these 20 years, the fuel carried by its firsters was almost exhausted. It could lose control at any time. To prevent it from crashing into potentially life-harboring moons Enceladus and Titan, NASA decided to use Cassini's remaining fuel to control its descent into Saturn, while trying to gather as much atmospheric data as possible. Before this, everyone thought Cassini's fate would be like that of the Voyager sisters, heading into interstellar space after completing their missions. But this was not feasible, because, aside from their structures, Voyager, true to its name, was designed for a travel exploration mission. It did not, like Voyager 2, which visited Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, setting a Guinness World Record for visiting the most planets. Because of this, its speed was very fast, it couldn't break around any planet. So after its main mission, it could only fly away from the solar system, and such high speed also helped it travel faster in the vacuum of space. Today, the Voyager sisters are still speeding away from us, but Cassini was different. Although it also explored many planets on its way to Saturn, its main mission was around the entire Saturn system. Even if its firsters ran out, it couldn't escape Saturn's strong gravity. It might still orbit Saturn, but eventually, it would either change orbit due to Saturn's gravity or plunge into Saturn's atmosphere or crash into one of its moons. This might not sound scary, but we must know that Saturn's average distance from the Sun is 1.43 billion kilometers. At such a distance, solar panels cannot be used for power, so Cassini carried 32.7 kilograms of radioactive plutonium-238, which converts heat from radioactive decay into electricity. Plutonium-238 is a radioactive isotope of plutonium with a half-life of 87.7 years and is highly radioactive. If it leaks, it would cause irreversible severe contamination. Therefore, before Cassini was launched, it faced much opposition. If the launch failed, it would be like a nuclear bomb. So, NASA had to ensure no problems occurred. They made many safety designs for Cassini, but as we mentioned earlier, Saturn's two moons might harbor life. According to previous data, there might be a lot of water under Enceladus's ice layer, which occasionally sprays water droplets outward. As for Titan, it is the only moon in the solar system with a thick atmosphere, very similar to Earth. Scientists have high hopes for these two moons, because if life is found on them, it would mean humans are not alone in the universe. So to be safe, NASA decided to let Cassini plunge into Saturn's atmosphere. It's worth mentioning that Cassini was only part of the probe. It also carried a probe named Huygens. They were the last flagship space probes of the 20th century. For the success of this mission, the plan started in the 1980s, jointly developed by NASA, ESA, and ASI, involving 17 countries. NASA was responsible for building Cassini, ESA built Huygens, and ASI provided the high gain antenna. Their names also have origins. Cassini was the first to discover the gaps in Saturn's rings and four of its moons. Huygens was the first to discover Saturn's rings and Titan. To honor their contributions, NASA named the mission Cassini Huygens. On October 15, 1997, Cassini was launched aboard a Titan IVB rocket from Cape Canaveral. Scientists calculated Saturn's average distance from Earth is about 1.4 billion kilometers. If relying solely on the rocket's thrust, it would need at least 70 tons of fuel. But Cassini carried less than 33 kilograms of propellant, mainly for use around Saturn. So, scientists thought of the gravity assist method, using planetary gravity to accelerate it, like in the movie The Wandering Earth, where Earth used Jupiter's gravity to accelerate. During this journey, Cassini used gravity assists from Venus, Earth, and Jupiter four times, reaching an astonishing speed of 30 kilometers per second. Finally, after a six-year, 
eight-month journey covering 3.5 billion kilometers. Cassini entered Saturn's orbit on Cassini entered Saturn's orbit on July 1, 2004, beginning a four-year scientific investigation of Saturn's atmosphere, rings, and moons. One important mission was to pass through the gap between Saturn's F-ring and G-ring. This gap is the widest in Saturn's rings, about 30,000 kilometers wide. Although it seems wide, it is still filled with many particles. They move at high speeds, and if Cassini collided with them, it could cause serious damage to its scientific instruments. Therefore, before entering the gap, Cassini rotated 180 degrees, using its rear base as a shield. Thus, Cassini successfully passed through the gap. We observed Saturn's beautiful rings up close for the first time. After that, Cassini began its long-term observation of Saturn. On December 25, 2004, Cassini closely observed Titan and released the Huygens probe. Huygens' mission was to land on Titan's surface. Its shape was like a shell, with a heat shield in front and three parachutes at the back. These preparations were to ensure it could complete its mission. Huygens' landing process lasted 2 hours and 15 minutes. During this time, it analyzed Titan's atmosphere, pressure, temperature, and magnetic field data. And after landing, it successfully took the first surface photo of Titan in human history. Unfortunately, due to limited energy, Huygens ended its mission about 90 minutes after landing. It will remain there forever. Worse still, due to a mistake by ground scientists, they forgot to open its channel receiver in advance, resulting in only one channel receiver working. The original plan was for two to work simultaneously. This would have received about 700 photos, but only about 350 were received. This was a major mistake by ESA and a significant regret in space exploration. After Huygens ended its mission, only Cassini continued exploring alone. Originally, its design lifespan was only four years, but due to its excellent performance, its mission was extended to the 13th year. During this time, Cassini achieved many results. This photo shows the surface of Enceladus. Enceladus is a frozen moon and Saturn's second largest moon. It has millions of craters. No one can imagine what it has experienced. Besides, Cassini flew by Titan 54 times and discovered a lake in the Northern Hemisphere. This was the first time scientists found a lake on a planet other than Earth, although it was a hydrocarbon lake. This discovery still excited scientists. Most incredibly, Cassini passed through the plumes of Enceladus, analyzing the ocean's composition beneath its ice, finding complex hydrocarbons. This increased the possibility of life on Enceladus. Most notably, on July 19, 2013, Cassini was in Saturn's shadow. Ground personnel had a sudden idea to send a command to take a photo looking back at Earth under Saturn's massive rings. A faint blue dot shone in the night sky. This was our Earth. If you zoom in on the photo, you will see a star next to Earth. That is the moon. It's unimaginable that at just 1.4 billion kilometers away, Earth is already so small on a cosmic scale. It might not even be a speck of dust. On September 11, 2017, Cassini made its final visit to Titan. This time, it was only 12,000 kilometers away, but such a close distance was not for observing Titan but to use its gravity for acceleration because it was preparing for its final chapter. For the final plunge, Cassini would adjust its orbit here, ensuring the next adjustment would send it straight into Saturn's atmosphere. By this time, Cassini had very little propellant left to prevent it from losing control and crashing into Saturn's potentially life-harboring moons. It had to be controlled to plunge into Saturn. In this orbit around Titan, Cassini would end its nearly 20-year career on September 14, 2017, at 1.22 p.m., Cassini pointed its antenna towards Earth. In the next few hours, 